Hi, my name is Jacob. I'm a senior from Miller North. And this poem is called Number One. I've never seen someone be killed by another person. I've never had to cross an ocean to be safe. I've never had to face potential death at every step. I've never needed to protect my family or had to lose them. I haven't had to sacrifice my home and culture so that I could reach a place entirely different from where I grew up. And I've certainly never done all of that just to be turned away at the door to the land of the free because a tubby orange man with hay for hair decided that the people from a world away posed a greater threat because they are Muslim than the guns sold and bought like candy in his own country that kill churchgoers and Orlando LGBT all the same. Hey, Mr. President, is that money in your pocket, the NRAs or your father's? And how much blood do you think is on your tiny hands? He stands in front of hundreds, and if there is a God, I hope he plugs his ears when the man begins to talk. His hands fly, making walls, pointing fingers, and tying strings so tight that the words human rights die in the throats of refugees and sympathetic citizens alike. And at the end of his speech, I recognize the clapping and cheering of the crowd. It reminds me of the videos of men dressed in masks, holding guns, cheering and chanting after their leader gives his speech about how they will practice what they preach. I wonder how long it took for a drone to find them. And I wonder how long it took for the ones who survived the ensuing explosions to find enough pieces of their brothers to be able to bury them. Just more to avenge, more hatred to have. Death becomes a word instead of the end of all things for a soul. The face of a terrorist becomes Middle Eastern, framed with a turban. Mass shootings become day to day. Threats of nuclear war are thrown like snowballs. But they live, the citizens, the refugees, the children who grow up with this as their lives. It is not OK. It is not right. But it is life, and life can change. Thank you.